worldwide, worldwide. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here today with another new video. And what we're looking at here is the 14 gram Winma Ted Hanky Darts. And unfortunately they're no longer produced, but thankfully to Dart Supply Shop in the UK, they were able to send me one of their very last sets. So if you want to check those guys out, hit them up in the description box or somewhere in the comment section, probably in the pinned comment, you'll see that there. But what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take these 14 gram hanky darts and we're going to see how much I can make them weigh. So I guess the first step will be to put them on the scale and we're going to get their stock weight and then I'm going to go through, I don't know, two or three steps and we're going to get a final weight on these things. So from 14 grams, I have a new trick that I just learned about this week actually, and it's going to be kind of interesting. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get them on the scale. Okay, for step one, we're going to put them on the scale. And this is the way they came stock from the factory out of the package. And for those that don't know, the Ted Hanky Dart, the 14 gram Ted Hanky Dart, is almost all the way hollow. These things are 43 millimeters long, somewhere thereabouts. And they're actually, this particular set is drilled out in the back drilled out to about 35 millimeters, 34.8 to be exact. So anyway, let's get these on the scale. 14.22, 14.25, and the final one, 14.21. So that's how they come stock from the factory out of the package, about 14.2 grams. Okay, step two in this video, what would a Ted Hanky dart be without target storm points? So what I did was go ahead and I ordered some 26 millimeter smooth silver storm points. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed in the darts and see what sort of weight difference that makes. A few moments later. Okay, five minutes later, there we go, points are sorted out, all installed, no problems there, thanks to my handy designer repointing tool. Makes things super easy. I have to admit though, I was nervous, I don't know, I always get nervous when I install storm points. We all know why, because if you mess up and they snap, that's it. But anyway, there they are, and they look pretty friggin' awesome, I have to say. I think the hanky darts are some of the best looking darts with storm points installed. And as we all know, on some darts, when you install storm points, man, they look like shit. But these, they look pretty awesome, right? So let's get these on the scale. And now their new weight is, <laughs> not much, 14.28, 14.29. Hey, to be honest, you know, I thought there was more of a difference when you install storm points, but really not a great deal of difference. And 14.30. All right, so we're up to 14.3 now with the new points. And for some reason, I thought it would go up a little more than that. But, I don't know, I guess I was wrong there, huh? So anyway, there are those, uh, I guess those are the first two steps. And what we're going to do now is something different. I actually don't even have it in the house. So I'm going to have to uh, finish this video up in a little later date. Maybe tomorrow. All right, but that's it for now. 14.3. So we're getting there. We're going in the right direction. They're getting heavier. I don't know what they're going to end up as. We'll see. Funny little backstory to this video is I thought I could make it a simple video and sometimes shit just doesn't work out. It's like, ah, it fights you all the way. So I ordered these darts and I knew that they were hollow the, the entire time. So I just order a set of these, the Unicorn Ultracore Tungsten Inserts. Well, come to find out the dimensions of these, of these are 10 millimeters by 3.9 millimeters wide. And that works, the, the Ted Hanky dart at the start of the dart in the back, it's four millimeters wide. But unfortunately, it tapers down to 3.2 millimeters wide. So these are useless. And my dumb ass, I guess I had two in the basket and I didn't even realize it. So I ended up getting two sets that I don't need. But hey, that's all right. I got a new solution and I just learned about it this week. So the next step is going to be kind of cool. Many months later. Okay, so what we have here are some 100% tungsten welding rods. Now these are 175 millimeters long by 3.2 millimeters wide, and they're going to fit absolutely perfect in the bank of, uh, back of those hanky darts. So I guess what we need to do now is see if I can cut this stuff. I've tried, I've tried everything possible to cut this stuff. It's super hard, but I bought this vise and I bought this 
uh, diamond cutting wheel. So let's have a go, see if I can cut this stuff to exactly 25 millimeters long, and that'll be a perfect insert for the hanky darts. Safety first. Well, there you go, guys. Three pieces of 100% tungsten. I cut these approximately 25, 25 and a half millimeters long. Super, super hard to get an accurate cut with an angle grinder. But I think I did all right. I have the scale right here. And we're going to do a quick weight check. I should be... Oh, no, I dropped it. I should be right under four grams if I did this right. Yeah, 3.83. Three point eight two. Wow, no way. I'm pretty good with that angle grinder. Three point eight five. Nice. So they're uh, pretty much dead on accurate. So let's uh, take this operation back inside, and we'll see how much these hanky darts weigh. I'm also going to uh, shore them up with tungsten putty, but we'll get to that when we get inside. Well, there you go, guys. You can see the final weight right here. Eighteen point five six grams. I have a small piece of tungsten putty. Now that's going to prevent the welding rod, the hundred percent tungsten welding rod, from shaking around inside the barrel. And then you, of course, have your barrel. So all we're going to do is, you'll see how this slides in. So that just slides in, snug fit there. But it would rattle. So that's why we use the tungsten putty. Now remember, I left about. 10 millimeters in the back. So we're going to pack this in. I use a nail. I pack in the tungsten putty. It's hard to do it on video. So you just pack that in so the stem will fit. And like I said, I left about 9 to 10 millimeters in the back for that to fit, for the stem to fit. So there you go, 1856. It should be about pretty much the same, 1857 and... 1856. So there you go. Pretty much identical. So the total start, uh, the starting weight was 14.22 grams. We ended up at 1856. So that's just under four and a half grams total weight added to these darts. So that's pretty amazing. I guess the actual, well, if I did the math, what, 4.35 grams, something like that. Well, yeah, so that's quite a bit of weight. These uh, tungsten, 100% tungsten welding rods are incredibly dense. Wow. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hey, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, keep an eye out Saturday. Keep an eye out in a couple days. I'm doing a, a prize giveaway, so you guys don't want to miss that one. Hey, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.